What's up guys, Auto Fanatic. So a lot of you guys asked me for a process on how to quickly and easily decontaminate your car when it comes to clay process. Uh, in the summertime, a lot of guys out in Texas, Arizona, Nevada, and Florida, like I said, the reason for this is when you clay your vehicle, you have to have very good lubrication and you have to take your time and do it right. Now, in the sun, we're at 97 degrees right now. If you use the conventional method that I show you on my channel, Auto Fanatic 007, Gloss Enhancer, and the Meguiar's Professional Clay, that's a great process, but when the panel is extremely hot, I don't recommend it because the lubrication is going to dry up so quick. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to use Auto Fanatic 007 Snowstorm with a very fine decon clay mitt. And I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to do it. Now, if you look at my car, it's freaking flawless. There's no swirls, there's no scratches. But let me flip, flip over to the other camera, and I'm going to put a Ziploc bag on my hand, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about because... This car gets hit with construction debris and stuff all over the New York City area, and it also is not garage 100% of the time. So let's switch over to that frame right now, and you guys could hear the, de the contaminants that are on the paint by settling. Now, also in the summer months, with the heat, the stuff settles on the car, and it bakes into the finish, and it's very hard to come off. It does not come off when you do a contact wash. Also, by removing the very fine contaminants, it's going to make the car easier to self-clean if you have proper protection, whether it's a ceramic coating, a ceramic hybrid product like a Griot's Garage 3-in-1 Ceramic or any of those toppers that you guys like to use, or even Autofanat 007 Gloss Enhancer if you guys are doing that as a drying aid in between washes. So let me just show you guys the clip right now. You're going to listen to the way this feels on my panel right here, and then we're going to show you step-by-step step exactly how to use 007 Snowstorm to clay your car safely. The Ziploc bag with my hand inside of it, and I'm just rubbing it across the panel. So that's just the light contamination that's on the paint. Right, guys, so step one, what you're gonna to wanna to do, and this is what I highly recommend if you're gonna use a mitt, is make sure you have a grit guard on the bottom of your bucket. I'm using a smaller bucket here. We're gonna take some Auto Fanatic 007 Snowstorm out of the bottle, and we're just gonna pour some in there. Like I said, you wanna use this liberally because you don't wanna have low lubrication when you're doing this. We're going to take a garden hose, we're going to just create some suds and some foam. Okay, that's it. So you can see how awesome this stuff works. Now, today what we're going to be using is a fine surface prep clay mitt by Griot's Garage. You could buy this from uh, multiple different vendors, and I only recommend doing this with the fine. Uh, the aggressive ones have a little bit too much tension, and you could scratch the paint, especially if you have a black car or a dark color car unless you don't care and you just want to do a quick clay decon and you're going to paint correct the car and you're going to spend 20 or 30 hours doing that then you could do whatever you want but i'm just going to tell you this is my technique that i've been using for the last eight months on upkeeping my car showroom shine and perfect every time i go to events so we're going to take the mitt and we're going to submerge it in the bucket we're going to leave it there pretty much going to just get this thing lubricated and prepped with the 007 snowstorm and we're just going to leave it there because what we're going to be doing is we're going to foam sections of the All car. Right, so we got one of my foam cannons. It's already filled with water. We're going to take the 007 snowstorm. We're just going to pour a couple of ounces in there just like that. Close the cap and always every time you use a foam can, this is I don't know why I get all these questions, but you have to I put my finger over the vent hole and you, you have to agitate it. Okay, so this is step two. Step one, get your bucket with the grit guard, submerge your decon fine clay mitt into the bucket and leave it there. Get your foam cannon ready, and let's get the pressure washer set up, and we're going to shoot it. Start. I do not recommend foaming the entire car in the direct sun to do a clay decon, so you're going to want to do panel for panel. Also, after you wash the vehicle, you can leave the vehicle wet and then foam it again in sections and do what I'm going to show you right here. So let's just get this foamed up right now. That's it on the panel like this. You don't want to go too hard and then you can dunk in if you feel any kind of a drag on the paint safely and easily. And you can feel when you're doing this, using the soap, the way this clay decon mitt just glides across the panel with no restrictions. So now if you were to use a conventional clay bar, 
It's gonna take you a lot longer. I mean, I still recommend that for heavy overspray or real, real bad decontamination, especially if you got rail dust and you know you have the car parked near a body shop. But uh, if you want to knock it out quick, like once a month, this is the method. Pull this. Go back into the bucket. Now we're gonna do the hood. And like I said, we're doing this in direct sun. And with my soap, you're not gonna get that streakiness and those water spots that you're gonna get with conventional soaps because my soap does not contain sodium hydroxide, FYI. So if you guys wanna know anything about that, just do your little research on sodium hydroxide. It's used in pretty much all sorts of soaps for saponification, especially with bar soaps and consumer grade products. And it's cheap, it's called caustic soda. So that's pretty much what you want. You can actually see the hydrophobic properties of the soap. That's because the surface is protected and we're just getting off all that light contamination onto the hood. You're also gonna wanna make sure you do your glass, okay? So it's just like doing a contact wash, just a little bit slower because you wanna make sure you make good contact with all surfaces. So if you can see it here, pull the camera back. So we did driver's side fender, we did half the hood, and we did half the windshield. So now we're just gonna pretty much just work my way around the car until we do the full vehicle. It's nice even passes. It's gonna ensure you don't scratch up your car. And I'm sure, and I know for a fact a lot of YouTubers show this, but uh, I'm showing it in direct sun with my soap because that's what a lot of you guys have asked for. Oh, also, don't forget the headlights, the bumper, everything. You want to pretty much get all the paint, to get all of that light decontamination off of it. The water behavior on the car from the light dilution ratio of the 007 snowstorm and also the protection on the car that's already existing. So we're gonna go back here. In there. Nice slow even passes. You're gonna want to put even pressure, just like I'm showing you here, left to right. You don't want to go like a maniac, because that's how you will scratch the paint. Nice and easy. You give it a good rinse in the bucket with the soap. That's a precautionary measure do the carbon fiber because like I said the contaminants they settle on everything not just the paint they settle on the glass on the trim now we're working on the windshield and little particular matter that settles on the glass you're gonna notice it when it rains the wipers become not as effective but now I could feel it after a couple of passes now the Sun kind of went down which is great and dump it back into the bucket, work our way over to the roof. So I want you guys out there to have the 007 snowstorm or you want to pick some up on Amazon or through the Auto Fanatic web shop, try this method and the ones that I've told directly that have contacted me swear by it now just as much as I swear by it. This is pretty much my go-to method. If you do this once a month and your car is not garaged or you know you park where stuff's gonna settle on it. Do your best to work in sections. Now as you're doing this process, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it as you glide across the paint, the contaminated sections. And you may have to go over some sections more than once because this is a fine clay decon mitt. And this is what I want you guys to use. I don't want you to use the aggressive mitt because you have a good chance of marring the surface and possibly putting induced scratches if you don't use the right lubricant. And 97 degrees, we're in direct sun. And it's easy as can possibly be. Now, the back of the car, the rear trunk, that usually gets the grunt of a lot of 
contaminants. Like I said, this usually gets a grunt of the contamination because of how you drive, everything blows over the car and settles always in the back window, the trunk and the rear bumper. See, I feel a little bit over here, so I gotta make a couple of passes, but like I said, I'm not going at it like an animal. I'm going nice and easy, left to right, even passes, overlapping passes. So right here, this is usually where it gets really bad on almost every car, is this end of the trunk. And I'm going over it with my bare hand and it feels baby smooth right now. Dump it in here. Because if anything dislodges off the paint, you want to kind of get it off in your rinse bucket. So now we're on the driver's side. Doing the top of our pillar to the quarter panel. makes the job a hell of a lot easier than using small pieces of clay. You know, for something like this, if you're just doing a light, very, very light decon, this is what I prefer now. This is my method. And then I'm gonna rinse it, and dry it up, and that's it. We have the added protection from 007 Gloss Enhancer polymers that are blended into this soap chemistry. And you can see it the way the water is pulling away. That's the lubrication that we're getting from the soap. So this is more economical doing this than using a whole bottle of 007 Gloss Enhancer, doing panel per panel and using uh, small pieces of clay. So it's all about creating a more efficient process and giving a show quality result and maintaining that result easily. So you can spend more time enjoying your cars rather than obsessing over processes that take all day or multiple days to uh, maintain. And you guys can see the water behavior just from doing that process. It doesn't feel grabby like most soaps. Your hand just glides across the paint smooth. There's no contamination on the car anymore. I'm going to show you guys the finished results in direct sun to prove that there's no scratches and swirls induced in this particular process that I just showed you. Guys, we're finished. That is the full clay mint decon with Autofanatic 007 Snowstorm. You guys can see the photos. Uh, this car has no scratches, no swirls, no marring whatsoever. So hope you guys liked this video. Got some tips on how you could do this yourself. Save yourself a lot of time and effort and do an outstanding job safely and easily using the Autofanatic 007 Snowstorm and your choice of clay mitt, which I will put a link to a bunch of these. You can get on Amazon and you can also buy the soap on Amazon as well or through the Autofanatic web shop. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more content and I'll see you guys on the next video real soon.